Hey y'all, welcome back to Lightworks Intuitive Healing. I am your intuitive reader and healer here today to illuminate what the Most High wants us to know. I hope that you all are having a blessed and positive day. This will be a general reading, so please keep that in mind and only take what resonates with you. If you like the content, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. I would love to have you join the Lightwork family. If you want to donate to the channel, the information will be in the description box. It is not expected, but it will be greatly appreciated. Okay. So, I'm just going to tap in uh, with the random message pile and see what comes out. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Ancestors of the Highest White Light, we thank you for this day. Please allow me to channel the current energies for the collective to reveal what we need to know today. Most High God, I ask that you would please allow Archangel Michael, Archangel Metatron, and Archangel Raphael to be present during this reading to give us clarity, healing, and protection. Archangel Michael, please close the door on anything that is not of the highest white light. Please allow the war angels to be encamped around myself and the collective throughout this reading. Please and thank you. All right. <coughs> <coughs> Okay, let me get some water. So, hmm. Okay, throat chakra. Mm, out of the blue. That may be significant. <clears throat> throat is just all of a sudden not clear anymore. So, your throat chakra may be affected in some way. It could be blocked. <clears throat> There could be something that you need to speak out about or someone that needs to say something to you possibly. Hold on just a second. So, let's go ahead and get a good shuffle in and see what is going on. Split the deck on the Wheel of Fortune. So, something regarding your destiny or a shift coming into play. We have Divine Timing. Let's get into it. To start with, we have Resentment. This is a song by Beyonce and also Jasmine Sullivan. It's in the reverse. We have Divine Judgment, which is also in the reverse. We have Trying to Distract You to Take You Off Your Path to Success. have first millionaire in your family abundance heaven on earth
We have Make It Last Forever by Keith Sweat in the reverse. You Belong to Me and I Belong to You in the upright. And let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. We have If You Want to Lift Yourself Up, Lift Up Someone Else. This is a quote by Booker T. Washington. And we also have Archangel Michael here with protection. Okay, I'm hearing there's one more. Thank you, Holy Spirit. <clears throat> we have Don't Leave by Black Street. There are a lot of love songs out here. Uh, there's someone in your energy that feels like you belong to them and they belong to you. They're asking you don't leave. With resentment, divine judgment, and make it last forever all in the reverse, I feel like this is your energy. You are... You have released this person. You have released this relationship. You're not judging this person. You don't care. You've just moved on. This is not something that you're trying to engage with at all anymore. This energy is trying to stop your, your progress on the path that you're going on right now. You're on a path of success. You will be the first millionaire in your family. Whatever it is that you're working on is going to be successful. You're trying to create this heaven on earth for yourself. And you're doing this by helping other people, lifting people up. Um, I'm seeing I'm seeing the word healer in my third eye right now. So you could be a healer or you could be someone that's spreading love and light in the earth right now. Archangel Michael is with you, protecting you. And let's see bottom of the deck we have leave them where they are so that's exactly what you did you you've moved on from this energy and they're not happy about it what else holy spirit you have people confused who are you so you you're operating you're moving completely different from what this energy was used to in the past you have a very powerful intuition. I'm hearing that you move when God said move. You're able to see through this energy of this person. I'm hearing they know you can see through them. Your angels, spirit guides, and ancestors, and the Most High adore you and love you very much. Bottom of the deck, we have someone new is coming into your life soul tribe that could be myself and other soul tribe members of this channel and any other spirit guides any any channel that is of love light and positivity we are all soul family on this journey together but you could also be meeting i'm hearing a romantic partner very soon do not allow the negativity of others to contaminate you I feel like that is, you've already mastered that. You've moved away from these energies. I'm hearing anybody that's not, anyone that's that's operating out of a low vibration, you just have a zero tolerance for that at this time. With I am not good enough for you in the reverse, this person thinks that, again, you guys belong together. They They feel like they're good enough for you. They feel like you belong to them. What else, Holy Spirit? Don't fall for it. They are not being genuine. You can see that. You know that. Yeah, false person. Wearing a mask. Double lives. Liar. This person can be involved with someone else presently. Or they could have been involved with someone else when you were connected to them. Let's get a couple more. cleanse your energy and your space so it's very important that you're doing meditations to cleanse your energy or using uh, 
prayer, first of all, um, guided meditations or just quiet meditation, Palo Santo or Sage. It's also good. With move in a new direction in the reverse, this person does not want to move away from you. They want to keep coming towards you. They're not reading the signs. They're not uh, trying to hear anything that you're saying. They want to keep coming towards you. Let's get a couple more and we'll get some tarot. Yeah, this, there's some people that have an evil eye on you. They're upset because you are living in your purpose. You're moving towards your destiny. You push through your fears. And people are upset about it. They are, they're very confused about the new you. They don't know how to take it. So, a lot of times when people don't get a, an explanation, they make up their own reasoning. They make up their own stories about what, what it is that you're doing, who you are. They may be calling you a witch. They may be saying uh, all kinds of dark things because they are, this is just sitting here, <laughs> because they don't know who you are. And this was sitting there for a reason. You could be an intuitive energy reader. And they, again, they could be calling you, thank you, Holy Spirit. They could be saying that you're a witch or you're practicing dark arts or you're doing all these things and they have really no clue that you're being fully guided and operating with the Most High God, your angels and ancestors. But when people don't understand, they want to draw themselves to their own conclusions. This is who you are. You are trying to be the change you want to see in the world, trying to raise the vibration of humanity, trying to make this world a better place. You release these energies, you let it go. There was nothing else for you to hold on to. You got the memo and you moved accordingly. Blessings are heading your way. Be open to them. Anything else from here, Holy Spirit? Yes. Okay. You stepped into your purpose. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Yeah, these people are shocked. I'm seeing a lot of people shocked. You're no longer arguing with people. You see that there is always a peaceful resolution, a, an opportunity to... Diffuse the situation. You're not engaging in any arguments unnecessarily. You're not expending your energy the way that you used to. And there's a lot of people crying over you. They know that they messed up. Particularly this person that you were in a relationship with that is still set on getting you back. Change is coming in the reverse. This person does not want that to happen. This person wants things to be the way they used to be. Yeah, danger ahead came out, but it was in the reverse. This is because, again, Archangel Michael is present, not allowing anybody to come and stir up any drama around you. This person is being blocked along with anyone else that is coming to disrupt your path, your purpose. Anything else, Holy Spirit? I'm hearing there's a few more here. Dark entity attachment. This person has a dark attachment to them. I'm hearing that your relationship, your, your rejection was for your protection, I just heard. From this person, this person has a dark attachment. This person has several dark attachments, I'm hearing. It's in the reverse because it was returned to sender. They were not able to attach it to you. The 
your sisters and brothers are not who you think they are do not trust them this is for somebody specific you will know if this is for you if it could be I'm hearing a friend or a cousin or someone like a sibling it doesn't necessarily have to be your actual sibling but for some of you a specific person or a couple of people this is your sibling that should not be trusted bottom of the deck I got a reading on you I know who you are so someone is aware that you are a divine being there's one that fell hold on okay we have the knight of wands in reverse this is somebody that's uh, very hyper sexual um, a player energy this person that you were connected to I'm hearing was that type of energy male or female they hate you because they ain't you For someone here, there is someone that was previously you were connected to in some way. It could be family or friends that is trying to get back into your energy and they genuinely want to resolve a situation with you. This is for someone specific. The Most High is saying that it is okay to uh, come to calmer waters with this person, but use your discernment. That doesn't mean that you have to allow them to move in with you or to, you know, re-enter a relationship with them. Um, it's just okay to a lot to resolve things in a peaceful way. That's specific for someone. All right, let's get a little bit of tarot. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, thank you for the messages. What should we be aware of? Oh, something wanted to fly out. King of Swords. Okay. I'm being called to take this in the reverse. This is the energy of this false person that you were connected to. This person is a very dominating energy. Again, this person is saying, uh, you belong to me and I belong to you. This person is very controlling I'm hearing I won't take no for an answer so this person may be this person may be very aggressive they may try to show up and or consistently try to contact you to get you to come back out with them for some of you they may try to come in a king of cups type of energy trying to woo you but really honestly bottom of the deck seven of swords this person is deceptive not trustworthy deceitful they're coming with lies and deception yeah with the news and the ace of wands they're gonna try to come and give you some news to get back into you yeah with the lovers definitely they want this new beginning with you but they're really coming to bring a tower to destroy whatever it is you're working on three of swords and break your heart again you're being called not to trust this person ace of pentacles when i split the deck this is what the most high is bringing into you 
somehow this person knows that you're headed that way and they want to bring that tower in to stop you before that happens. Yeah, eight of pentacles, ace of pentacles. Yeah, whatever this is that you're working on, it's definitely going to be really good for you. It's going to bring a lot of success to you. The world. I'm hearing in this sense, this con this relationship is over. This has ended. You are closing the cycle with this energy. But the world is also representing this new position that you're going to have. It may be something that's on a public platform that is going to be world renowned, I'm hearing. So you may have some type of an online presence. What else, Holy Spirit? We have the temperance, the ten of wands, and the hangman. What I'm getting with this is that this situation you were in with this false person had you very heavily burdened, weighed down, stressed out, overwhelmed. But you surrendered and you saw things in a different way. You called upon the Most High to bring this balance with the temperance in your life. And that's exactly what the Most High did. I'm also hearing that this person... This person brought a lot of baggage and drama into your life and you were like a sponge for that person's negative energy and baggage. You absorbed a lot of that which kept that person's energy high. This person knows that that energy was yours and not theirs. Five of Swords. Yeah, a lot of conflict, a lot of drama. Page of Wands again. They this is what they're trying to bring to you. Very childish energy. I'm seeing a lot of pages. We have the Five of Swords, Page of Swords, and the Page of Wands. This person is stalking and walk watching, looking you up online, going through fake accounts, trying to get information on you about your Ten of Cups. They want. They know that it's coming to you, and they want to stop it. Four of Pentacles, they want to hold you back. They want this person actually wants to hold on to you and hold you back from your destiny. I'm hearing ownership. This person thinks you really belong to them. Queen of Wands. This person does not like the fact that you're very attractive and they know a lot of people. Uh a lot of people are interested in you. A lot of suitors, I'm hearing. Ace of Wands. A lot of suitors want this new beginning, hierophant, and commitment with you. With the justice here, I'm seeing like someone wants to take you to the courthouse and marry you. This is this person. This person wants to get you down to the courthouse to marry you and start this new beginning with you. They know that you are very attractive and you are the Nine of Pentacles. You're very independent and successful on your own. They really, I'm hearing, take her off the market. Get, I'm going to take her off the market. This is this person at night, very stressed and depressed, wondering obsessively with the devil what's happening, who you're with, if you're with somebody. 
Like this person is really obsessed with you, whether you're male or female. What else, Holy Spirit? The Hermit. I'm hearing that you are in study mode right now. You're very focused on what it is that you're doing. Sharpening your craft, getting prepared to start your business or go to school. It could be a host of things. There's so many of us here. Um, but you're focused on that. Not really focused on any energies. And I'm here. you're not even really focused on a relationship at this time. You're still healing from this Ten of Swords that this person brought into your life with the Seven of Swords, Ten of Swords. There was a lot of stress. And you're still healing from that and focusing on the most high in your crafts at this time. What else, Holy Spirit? Let's get a couple more, please. Thank you. Three of Pentacles. Okay. I'm hearing that there is a King of Wands energy that is coming in that wants to work with you I think this is a different energy let's see king of wands let's see why is the king of wands here holy spirit why is the king of wands here Ace of Swords, Queen of Cups. Yes, there is a King of Wands that wants to work with you on the project you're working on. Ace of Swords, this, this is true. They see you as someone that's very smart, very loving, very nurturing, very kind. And I'm hearing that this could be a business and romantic interest. You're out here as the Queen of Wands and the Queen of Cups. So this could be a divine counterpart with the King and Queen of Wands out here. Yeah, the star. They, this person sees you as a star. This person knows that you're going to make millions like we saw earlier. And they want to collaborate with you. What else, Holy Spirit? Four of Swords. Ace of Wands. This person has seen you heal from your past situation. So this could be someone you know already. We got the Ace of Wands. Yeah, this person definitely is interested in you with the Hierophant and the Ace of Wands. This person wants to be with you. Justice. Okay. Anything else, Holy Spirit? Two of Swords. It looks like uh, you have a decision to make because this King of Swords in the reverse is definitely coming. You're being strongly advised against re entering in that connection with him, this person. This person still has this, in, this attachment on them. This person wants to control and manipulate you, and they do not have your best interest. This person is obsessed with you, and with this Knight of Swords, they are going to come in aggressively and try to, to win you over. The High Priestess, you could already be aware of this. We did see Intuitive Energy Reader out here, so that's a confirmation that we do have a High Priestess that I'm talking to here. Why is the Two of Swords here, Holy Spirit? Two of Swords. Yeah, thank you, Holy Spirit. So with this decision you needed to make, you're being advised again, to strongly against this and ending this situation with this King of Swords in reverse. This person is definitely not for you. Archangel Michael is blocking that connection. 
this person is going to be in a five of cups in deep regret but i don't see i see this person still continuously trying page of swords this person is still going to be stalking and watching five of swords this person is once is, is saying they will fight for this relationship but they'll be fighting themselves unless you engage with this person which you're strongly strongly advising against that what else holy spirit let's get a couple more before we close it thank you so not these two it's this one oh i love this we have the ace of wands the hierophant and the justice so yes, justice is being served. You are going to have your new beginning and your commitment. And I'm hearing this is going to be a very private ceremony <laughs> with the justice card coming out here. I'm seeing a small intimate ceremony, secluded, very private. And yeah, Archangel Michael has a message I'm hearing right now. Yeah, thank you, Holy Spirit. Four of Wands on the bottom of the deck. You are going to have a happy divine union. Ace of Cups. Yes. Beautiful. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Okay. Archangel Michael has a message. Yeah, Archangel Michael right now, I'm feeling very strongly this is blocking this connection with this King of Swords in reverse. This, this energy, whether it's male or female, this person is dangerous. This person is not, yeah. Um, with this, this person is, I'm being drawn to this computer. This person is looking up information, trying to find out who is making you happy. Thank you, Archangel Michael. Let's see. There's a message here, though, as well. Here's the message, Archangel Michael, please. Thank you. Thank you. Another one? Yes, there's another message. No. No. Okay. 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 So we have this is a blessing in disguise. Be patient and have faith that your angels have the situation under control. What will come is far better than you dare to dream. So yes, this is Archangel Michael saying, no, you're not going back to that person. That's over with the death card. It's over. Just have faith in your spirit guides, your Archangels, ancestors, the most high, that it's all being worked out. We see the King of Wands, Queen of Wands, partnership, the Ace of Wands, Hierophant. You're going to have your divine partner. It's not this King of Swords in reverse. Okay. Open your heart. No one is perfect. Stop judging yourself and others. Let love heal the situation. Yeah, just focus on your healing. Open your heart because love is definitely coming in. Okay. And your prayers are being answered. Your prayers are being received by the divine. Answers will come soon, although perhaps in forms you didn't expect. So they're saying, just know that this was a blessing in disguise. Everything is working out. Continue on your healing practices. Continue to cleanse your energy. Stay positive. Keep your vibrations high and open up your heart because love is on the way. So guys, this was the message. I hope that you enjoyed it. If so, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. I would love to have you join the Lightwork family. And until next time, peace and blessings. If you are interested in donating, the information will be in the description box. It is not expected, but much appreciated. I love you all. Have a blessed and positive day. I'm going to go ahead and ring the singing bell, so you may want to lower the volume.
Most High God, we thank you for the messages. We return this energy to the divine to be transmitted into love, light, and positivity. Please and thank you. Ashay. Okay.